Hello and welcome back everyone to another episode of DIY MMO, do it yourself. Where I make an MMO because you're not my mother and you can't tell me not to. Um, this is the to-do for the last episode. It says episode 3 but this is episode 4. So we did all this mess. Uh, we did this one as well. We still need to add the grass and then draw the grass. That's what we're going to be doing today and maybe something else, but I don't know. It might be a shortish episode. Every time I say that, it's an episode over 30 minutes. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt. Salt? A grain of salt. I don't know what a grain of salt is, but I get some grains of that. Um, in between episodes, I, I fixed a bug. This used to be... Um, like changes are not allowed okay whatever i'll i'll write it here then that'd be all right it used to be that that's the remainder operator now there is apparently a difference between the remainder and the modulo mod the mod operator and that's the that the remainder operator can be negative so if you take the remainder of a negative number it's going to be a negative number whereas the modulo operator is always going to be a positive number which is way better and it varies by language which one it is. In Python it can't be negative, in c -sharp, it can. So I had to write my own mod function that couldn't be negative, so this would never throw an error because this was throwing an error when it was negative. So that's a thing that happened. Something else I did is I, I sank into the ground here. And um, so you can see what's going on here. So it no, the game no longer draws all the tiles all the way from the bottom up. Like it doesn't fill space that is clearly going to be covered by the terrain. Like underground tiles, it doesn't draw those because that was creating quite a bit of lag on taller terrain. So something that we can now do, that we can do before, is reload all. I really need to fix that. Um, where is that? No. Is that in here? Yes. So if I do this, like, I don't know, 64? Let's do 64. And then I run the client. You get very hilly terrain. And it's not very laggy before it would be completely unplayable, unplayably laggy. So you can see that it only draws, like, it's it's not perfect because you can see there's two tiles here even though they probably don't necessarily oh they do need to be two yeah so you see the top half of this tile because it's you know the neighbor here is on the bottom and that's uh, how it how it, that's an optimization that I did so that's good that good that's good 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 now we going to do a thing with grass there's two ways I could do this there's the way where I have Perlin noise and it's just 2d and I use those values to get the grass so let's say you have I don't know you have like a bunch of tiles like this and then every tile has a number and this is just from the top like a height map, and then the parallel noise is going to be a number between 0 and 1, and then you just set a threshold, like if the number is over 0 0.3, it'll draw grass. That's the, the easy way to do it. I think I'll do it. The proper way to do it is to have like a 3D cube of parallel noise and then like sample it in the 3D space. And I could try and see if I can do that. Let me see if... I can figure that out, how to do that. So I did that, I just did a quick experiment. Apparently you can just do get value on a Perlin noise generator and just add three, it just has an X, Y, Z coordinate. So that works fine. So I was gonna do this and then I realized that we only send the height of a tile 
to the client right now. So what we obviously want to send is height of a tile and then type of tile. Although, is that what we want to send? Hmm. 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 Yes. M m maybe. Huh. Because because a grass tile that you can can you have multiple tiles on top stacked on one on top of the other? That would be interesting. I don't know if that would be a thing that could work. Um, hmm. Yeah. So after thinking about this for a, for a little bit, um, I don't think that's what we want. So what we could do is have one byte and then use bits. So you have uh, one byte is eight bits. So it's zero, 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 zero. This is one one byte, and then a bit is just any time a zero becomes a one. So so this that means that you can have eight different bits inside one byte. You have two hundred and fifty six separate numbers, but you have eight bits. Now what you can do is this is called flags is you can check if a certain bit is set. And then if that is set, so we know that this bit is set, so this is the fifth bit, because you go from right to left in, in, in binary. Um, that means that we can have a terrain tile, so let's see what we might want to do. Okay, so none. We want grass. We want snow. Um, maybe forest. Do we want water? No, probably not. Water is going to be a different thing. Swamp. So this is one, two, three, four, five. Uh huh. Do we want any other terrain types? I mean, this is already five, so that means that we have only three options left. Now we can expand on the map format later on so we might just begin with a byte for tile types and then so what you get is you get one byte is the height and then one byte is the tile type and that's eight different variations i'm just writing that down so you can you know follow along yeah i think that could that could work i don't i i i do think yeah, yeah, let's do it that way. Okay, so what we want to do, what we want is, did I, did I say that last episode? I think that might be becoming a meme, or at least a recurring jag, a uh, gag, jag. I English, I English all the time. So I'm just looking at this and not really thinking about anything. So we're getting the heights here. We also want to get the terrain types. Now I could just do a 2D, but I kind of want to do the 3D one. So, hmm. Hmm. So we go to the map. That's first of all. We're, we're just going to go to the map. So we have the heights. And then we have... Are we going to use a byte? I think internally we should just use an integer. Because it's not memory that we're trying to preserve, it's it's like bandwidth. Because sending these maps could get pretty big, but you know, you have gigs and gigs of memory. So I think this should be fine. If it's not fine, we can always change it later. So this is, it's adding in heights. Okay, and then we want, we want i in numeral, so we want to pass it in a numeral of type integer. Let's just copy that and do nothing there. And then we want to do the same here. Yeah. So we have types. And then we want to have my innumerable types. So that's the thing that we're going to do. 
And now we want to have like... Oh, we're doing parameters. Why are we doing parameters? Oh, do we need that? Do we need that? Don't we need it really? We don't. Good. That means that we're just gonna get rid of that constructor entirely. Much more easy that way. And then we go this dot types is new news. Yeah, that's news. It's news to me. With times height, as we always do, if types is not nil, copy the whole bloody thing. I think if you do two array and it's already an array, it shouldn't do a copy operation. It just should should just return what it is and then cast the right type. That's what I believe, even though I have no proof of that whatsoever. And if it's not, then we can always fix it later. So we're we're having the types now. Um, and we probably want like, hmm. So get tile type int x, int y. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to do just like this, and then I'm gonna add an enumeration, and I'm going to test the flag. So I'm gonna have this function, which just returns the proper point in the array, and a function that tells you which, what types are in there. So I'll do that, and then I'll, I'll bring you back. Okay. So I created the enumeration and I realize I may not have explained this too well, so I'm gonna try and explain this again. So in a byte you can have 256 different numbers, but if you have 256 different possibilities inside one byte, then you can only have one of them. So if grass was one and snow was two, you can't have one and two inside the same byte. That makes three. But then three wouldn't be able to be a thing if I was like one plus two is three, so three is grass and snow, if you know what I mean. So you can't have 256 things in a byte. But with bits, you can have eight things in one byte. And then those things can either be there or not there without taking more than one byte of memory. So we can have grass and we can have the other tile types and then we can layer them, which is good. So what I we'll want to do is this is now broken because it just is. We want to make map heights. What is map heights? Is that, oh, that's over here. Okay, let's do private static int. No, not int pointer, although you could do that. You shouldn't, but you could. Uh, yeah, map types. Okay, that's fine. So it would do the same thing here. It's a new integer. It's a whole new integer. I can't sing for crap. Okay. Now we want to do map types. Actually, hmm. So let's do tile type is zero. Or let's do this right and be like, no, that's just zero. And then we want to get um, from the grass, we want to get a value. We want to get the value at the x and then um, this is the unscaled height, so this is the actual height in the game, that's what we want. And then Y, this should actually be Z, but, you know. Unfortunately, I think this Perlin cloud goes from zero to one, but I'm not quite sure what, like, the multiplier is. So maybe I'll just do grass multiplier is, this is just a temporary thing is, I don't know, um, 1 divided by 256. 
So then we'll we'll have coordinates between zero and one for these values. So this is the value of the grass. Now, if the value of the grass is over a certain level or under a certain level, let's do under so we can set the percentage of grass. So we want like 70% grass. So if the grass value is, oh, and it's gonna be between minus one and one. So we want to do divided by two plus 0 0.5, yes. So now it's between one and, and zero. So if the grass value is is in that range, we want to set the tile type to also have grass on it. There we go. That should work. And then we need to set the type to grass. So plus y times 256, because that's what we have to do in a single dimension array is tile type and then we can send it we can add this so then we go back to the map i know this is a riveting and we rewind rewrite the whole binary thing to add the tile types as well i'll just do that and then i'll bring you back so i changed that um I was reading the within the height here probably to make a point. I removed that. I didn't change the version because we haven't stored anything yet, so there's no need to be backwards compatible with all the maps because they don't exist. I changed this to use write byte so I don't have to manually keep track of when the date I am. So I write this right out the, the types. We interleave the data, which means that it's like type uh, height. Type, height, type, height, type. I also just decided since I may want to deform the terrain, we should not, in fact, do a 3D thing. We shouldn't, unfortunately. So that's quite sad. Um, so, I don't know how this is going to work. I, I should just be making another noise thing, but I'll do that in between episodes. I'm sure I won't forget. I'll forget. Um, so now this is all the same height, so that should be... Like, because if you, if you um, reduce the height of the terrain, this isn't going to update. Unless I make it update, which I could do. That's a very good point. I could update that, can I? Hmm... Mm, yeah, okay, fine. We'll, we'll, we'll burn that bridge when we when we get mad at it. That's how that saying goes, isn't it? Um, okay, so the map is a thing. That does a thing. So over here, um, I changed read heights to read data. Still ver version 0. I gave this the same kind of get tile type function. And I added a boolean has grass, which gets the tile type, converts it into the enumeration, which you need to do to use this function, which takes another enumeration to check if it has a certain flag set. So hopefully that will uh, <laughs> that will be a thing. Let's just test this real quick to see if this is going to be a thing. How to do that? Map dot has grass, x, z, hang on a minute, I shouldn't be using y, I should be using z. Did I never, did I never do a y thing over here? Where's the thing? I never did a z thing. I never changed a y to a z here. That's terrible. Why would you do such a thing? Or rather, not do such a thing. Okay, so if it's grass, we want it to be color dot green, and otherwise, we want it to be the default color. Let's see if that works. Of course, it doesn't work. The server isn't running. Yes, 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 yes. Well, that um, didn't go very well, did it? No.
Out of range. Out of bounds. We are out of bounds. I don't know how that happened. Yeah, let's just do some debugging here. I for the f <laughs> for the love of God. Do I have any zeros in here actually? Let's let's check that while we're doing anything. Yes, we have some zeros. Okay, that's fine. So that's fine. Is this fine? Ah! Now we're doing a thing. I don't know what thing we're doing, but we're definitely doing a thing. So let's do that thing again, and this time a little more slowly. Oh, don't you just love live debugging? I hope you do. I really hope you do. Map dot to binary. Is something going wrong here? Yeah. Height dot length. Okay, and type should also be equal length. Am I? Oh, I'm not sizing the data up. Okay, that's that's my bad. I that's uh, I probably also need to do that in the client then. I said this was going to be a short episode. It already isn't. Ah, <sighs> yeah, making an MMO is like 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 it takes work and stuff. It's ridiculous. Okay, so this doesn't need to have a certain size of data, does it? No, it does not. Okay, that's fine. Let's just continue. And let's not do a breakpoint. And let's have an error anyway. Oh, types was never set. Oh, types was nil. Okay, why didn't you just say so? God. Yeah, I forgot to do this. I forgot to initialize the array. This is very weird. It's using like the, the property and not the property. Let's just uh, do that. Okay. That's just to make it more consistent. Let's see if that works then. Yes. Okay. And also we need to change the, the, the height of the map because that is literally ridiculous and it doesn't give you a good idea of what things look like. So that was like 16, I think. Was it eight? It may have been eight. I think it was eight. It was probably eight. Okay. So you can see like, <laughs> this is funny. Okay. So you can see that parts of this, uh, but the, the scale is still way too big. So let's, um, do a thing about that. Let's let's do a thing. <clears throat> let's do like that and see if that's any better. Okay, now everywhere is oh because I changed the scale to be smaller. Okay, what if I just do one then? That's no better. That is literally just as bad. If I I am confused. Yeah, this is why you want to use the noise thing. So let's just let's just be a smart person and use the noise thing. So grass nosy. Grass nosy. I don't want grass nosy, so uh, same thing. Same thing, same principle. Don't use the purlin, use the grass. Although it's probably going to be the same. Whatever. It doesn't matter. So we can delete this whole mess. So that's going to be grass nosy. Divided by 2 plus 0 0.5. Let's see if that's any better. No, that is literally just as bad. I am confused. I am so confused. Does it actually stop anywhere? Okay, so it does stop at certain points. Oh, because below a certain point. Okay, I see what's going on here. 
Um, I'm just going to stop this right now and, and, and bring you back when this is... Because this is this is not interesting. So you can see that we have a pretty decent spread now. What I did was I upped the viewing, the, the planner values. So basically, uh, there's a bigger, bigger viewing area. I don't, I don't know how to explain. But yeah, we have a decent mix of quote-unquote grass and dirt now. So what I want to do is add the grass. Now I'm the episode is getting a bit long, so I'm gonna off-screen a bunch of this and then explain what I'm doing. And there's suddenly grass. Look at all that grass. Actually, that's quite nice. Now, I did a trick here. Um, first of all, I, I made this... Uh, actually, let's... Um, so these are the tiles. And these are all the, all the grass tiles. Let me blow this up for you a bit. So there's 16 variations plus 4. So these are all the, the cases I made them, so you only need to look at the direct non-diagonal neighbours to, to, to make them fit. So this will fit into a corner, and so this will fit onto that, for instance. That's not very clear, but... Okay, so you have like these variations, and then you have the full tile of which there are four different types. This is important. It's not very clear here because they're laid out a bit, you know, jankily. So I'm going to... No, don't update. Blow this up for you. This is something else. They're laid out in the same order, but differently. So what I'm doing is I'm checking has grass. If it doesn't have grass, then it returns minus one, which means there is no grass here. Don't draw any. Then it says... Uh, a number called grass type to zero and then if it has a grassy neighbor to the left it it adds one if it has a grassy neighbor to the right it adds two um, if it has one to the bottom it adds four and one to the top it adds eight and I don't mean it adds eight it does a bitwise all so what it's actually doing is back to the bit thing it's it's there's, there's four bits, so um, the first bit is if, if he has a, if we have a grass neighbor to the left, that becomes a one. If I have one to the right, that becomes a one. If we have one to the bottom, this becomes a one. And if we have one to the top, this becomes a one. So this creates a number from between zero and 15. Now there's 15, um, there's 16 variations, so you can see, let me just drag this out a bit, so these are the 16 variations and this, we're not using these tiles, and these are the four variations of a full tile, so a full tile is variation 15. Now which is variation 0? Variation 0 is if we don't have a grass neighbour to the left, to the, to the right, to the top and to the bottom, so that works. Then grass variation one is if we have only a neighbor to the left. So that would be this tile. Then this tile one is two, which is only if we have a neighbor to the right. Variation three is if we have a neighbor to the left, that's one, plus a neighbor to the right, that's two. To put together is three. So that's how you basically, it's a cheap way to figure out which of these edges to draw. Now the has grass neighbor, just compares if the heights are not the same then there's no neighbor even if there is a grass tile next to it but if it's at a different height we don't want to know that and then it just checks if the grass tile at the neighboring that we want um, does in fact have grass and so we get 0 through 15 grass types if we have grass and otherwise it's minus 1 if it's 15 we have the full tile, so we have this tile, so we want this, 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 or this. So we get a variation between 0 and 3, 
and add that to the grass type. So we get a value between 0 and 1670, 0 and 18. Now what the renderer does after it renders all the cubes, it checks if there is a grass. Um, yeah, if there is grass, it it does that by getting a grass type and checking if it's above minus one. And then it just renders it. It gets tile 13 plus grass type because remember this 12th tile is the player. So we want to start from tile 13 to get the correct grass tile. And then we do this and then we have lovely luscious grass and things are almost starting to look like a thing which is i actually think this is quite pretty so um i'm quite pleased yeah now this has gotten a bit long so i think we'll just leave it there thank you all for watching and i'll see you next time Bye bye <laughs>